shopping centres in the country. But it's just invested £4 million in the very latest computer simulation technology, which it believes will attract students from all over the world. It simulates a total on-board experience, and Jim Knight's been testing his sea legs. Just your average bland college car park. This one's in South Shields. And you could be forgiven for thinking, well, what have they spent £4 million on? I'll show you. In just three short steps, and thanks to the very latest computer simulation technology in the world, I'm on the B deck of a cargo vessel. That's the wheelhouse, the engine room is here, and there's the control room. But perhaps most magnificently of all, the piece de resistance is the bridge here. It's absolutely mind-boggling. In the space of 25 yards, I've gone from a car park in South Shields to Sydney Harbour Bay. If you look now, we're just going under the bridge. The effect generated by the simulator is astonishing. And as famous landmarks pass you by on port and starboard, you'd swear you were actually steaming along. Everything is simulated to make the students' designated tasks as realistic as humanly possible. We were looking out for any targets coming towards us. In this area, many yachts are always around, and they pose a threat. And just checking the turn of the ship. But do you not get nervous when you're yes. on the bridge here? Oh, yes, very nervous. Yes. Sorry, excuse me. 420. 420. It's now too short, please. Too short. Is that left a bit, is it? That's it, left hand down, <laughs> that's right, yes. It's the ultimate test of the students' radar and navigation skills, and it teaches them how to cope with all the communication problems on a ship of this size. But where it really comes into its own is in its ability to simulate emergencies. Thank you. Emergencies are not normally enacted on a ship because, obviously, there are dire consequences. <laughs> so, therefore, we can generate emergencies in here. Uh, the participants on the bridge can react and perfect a way that they should react in that sort of emergency and <clears throat> hopefully take that knowledge back to this to see with them even below decks in the operations room again it's just like the real thing you could be forgiven for thinking there's a huge diesel engine in there there's not but a sophisticated sound system ensures there's just the same amount of deafening noise and vibration this is a totally on-board experience well, I tell you what, it's been quite a day. We've had three collisions, two small fires, and at one point we even hit the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I'd be glad just to get back on dry land. Mm, it's good, isn't it? It's amazing. And apparently the software is available for any, almost any, major estuary in the world. And I suppose, John, you wouldn't have any trouble with the weather conditions then, would you? I think you just type in your own weather conditions, whatever suited you. be great. Sun, sun, yeah. sun. Yeah. Call it Cybermet or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Something to dream about that, just put the goggles on, type in your favourite weather and just enjoy the sunshine.